Welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Riel Creighton. First tonight, a man who killed one person and stabbed another was sentenced today to 22 years in prison. The attacks happened back in September in southwest and southeast Portland. Fox 12's Carly Olson was in court today and has the details. Carly. Real last September, Isaac Woodward killed 46-year-old Travis Barisich, and then the next morning, he stabbed a woman in the laundry room of an apartment complex. Today, one of Barisich's family members spoke about the painful loss, and Woodward himself addressed the court. Travis wasn't a perfect person. He struggled with mental health and addiction, but he was loved. I loved him very much. Alice and Katie spoke through tears, still processing the loss of a brother and so much more. Travis was a fourth generation Portlander, a first grandchild, a precious nephew, a loyal friend, a devoted stepfather, a proud uncle, and my only big brother. On Monday, Isaac Woodward was sentenced to 22 years in prison, in part for Barisich's death, which happened on Southeast 26th Avenue on September 28th. That sentence includes the time he will serve for the stabbing of a woman in a Southwest Portland apartment complex the next morning, who barely escaped with her life. What she expressed to me was that she really believed that um, were it not for a stranger kind of walking in and interrupting that episode, which frankly led to Mr. Woodward being captured that day, that she believed that she very well would have been uh, killed. After the sentencing, Woodward was given the chance to address the family, who will now never see their brother, grandchild, and nephew again. To the family, uh, your loss is my loss. Because I struggle with it, very difficult. Barisich's sister says she imagines Woodward may be facing similar struggles to the ones she knew were plaguing her brother. And while it is important that my family feel safe and that our community is kept safe, I can't help but wish we had better systems that could have helped my brother and others like him. This comes after Woodward was convicted on charges of first-degree manslaughter, second-degree attempted assault, and attempted murder in the stabbing case. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Carly Olson, Fox 12, Oregon.